Good Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onick with a quick weather update for you. Before we get started, just past about 9 o'clock, as the clock says right there in the red bar at the side of your screen there, we're keeping an eye on what was an accident around the area of 240 and a Poplar area just between there and Walnut Grove. Finally getting that cleaned out, according to what TDOT says, a tanker truck spilled some fuel, but now things are moving along quite nicely at that location. So looking pretty good at this point. So just wanted to let you know about that, that everything's pretty well back to normal at this time. So definitely good news there. Welcome to the broadcast, our netcast, I guess I should say, if you are just tuning in again, this is our update for weather in the Mid-South area for Saturday morning. Things are again, very quiet, very dry across the area for right now, and going to continue that way into the rest of the day today. And for that matter, for the rest of the weekend. So if you got yard work to take care of, yeah, I'm one of them too. So again, we'll have to get all that taken care of a little bit later on. But good weather throughout the rest of the morning today. We do have a cold front on the way. It's going to be dropping through the Mid-South. And as it does, it's going to be maybe stirring up a few clouds. But you can forget the umbrella for today. We're just not seeing much of anything out there in the way of problems at this point in time. Drop your location and, of course, your weather reports into the comments section down below. And we'll see where you're at. No mailing address necessary, just a city and state will do nicely. Thank you very much. And then also, if you got any weather around your location, put that thermometer outside the kitchen window to some good use. you got that weather station as a gift for the holidays. Got that up and going. Let's see what's going on in your location. Plus, weather pictures, if you got those, we'd love to be able to feature them. And we'll take a look at some of your weather pictures that have been featured across the area from this morning on Daybreak. So stay tuned for more on that coming up here in just a little bit. Rest of the day, forecast in a nutshell, if you've never tuned in, here before. Again, forecast in the blue bar at the bottom of your screen. Also available here on the seven-day forecast and available all of that here at wrhg.com slash weather if you'd like to see more about what's going on. Sunshine galore for the Mid-South. Again, a few clouds possible as that front comes through. Winds out of the southwest more or less for right now, but they're going to be turning back around to the northwest as we go throughout the course of the rest of the day at this point in time. My wife, Melissa Onik, checking in from House Skeldale with all of our animals at that location. Blue and green out the window. Thank you very much, and uh, congratulations on the new position with Bartlett City Schools. Thank you very much much for checking in there. Monica Nicole from Helena, Arkansas. Welcome to the show. Sunny day in Oxford. Katie Watson, thank you very much. Thanks to everybody else for checking in from this morning. Walls, Mississippi. Jeffrey Griffiths, uh, 56 degrees if my bifocals are not mistaking me there. Thank you very much for that one. Fish Fry in Paris, Tennessee. Sounds good. Uh, so hopefully, I wish that we had a chance to stop by, but unfortunately, I don't have the opportunity to do that working as I do for the weekend hours, but somebody's got to keep an eye on things. Rhodes College in Memphis, sunshine and plenty of blue skies from the weather underground camera looking back toward the northwest and a beautiful day there. Traffic moving along pretty well at this time around I-55 and Goodman Road looking off toward Horn Lake off there in the distance. Wise Guys Pizza out there had a deep dish there earlier this week. Delicious stuff, so a uh, great opportunity for, again, a little bit of fare there. Into around the area of 240 in Poplar, this is an area that's going to be seeing some more construction going on later on today and over the next couple of weeks, so this might be an area to avoid if at all possible. Right now, traffic is moving along very well. No visibility problems at all, but again, it's going to be the possibility of some more slowdowns out here. So once again, you may want to check your traffic app before you head on out to see what's going on. But so far, good news for early Saturday morning. Everything moving along quite nicely in this location. Storm Tracker 3S radar, zero precipitation showing up. Our cold front is starting to move into the Mid-South over the next couple of hours. And as it does, we'll be looking again for the winds instead of out of the Southwest coming in from around out of the north. So we'll see a shift in the winds. Beyond that, we're just not looking at too much of anything in the way of changes. Our next major storm system is still way away from us, way out over the Pacific Ocean, and it's going to be heading our direction into the next couple of days. But we've got several more days before it gets even close to us at this point, as it does into and around the mid Plain States area. It's rare, but the Storm Prediction Center has been really ramping up the potential for some severe weather about Wednesday into Thursday between the Rockies and the Mississippi River. Now, not directly for the Mid-South area at this point, but once again, anything out around Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Texas, 
Western Arkansas, Nebraska, and Iowa. If you're heading that direction, if you know people in that area, now's the time to start getting ready for that potential of stronger weather coming on through. Some of that's going to make its way into the Mid-South. We'll talk about that coming up in the forecast here in just a little bit. Welcome to the show, everybody else, for checking in this morning. Somerville, Tennessee, Kathy Philpot, uh, Oxford, Mississippi, Rochelle D. Malone, Ripley, Tennessee, Kim Buck, welcome to the show, and everybody else for checking on in. Camelia Medina, hope I'm saying that right, from Los Angeles, welcome from Southern California. And thanks a lot to everybody else for checking in for this morning. Live, real-time, on-your-side weather, which you can get at wreg.com slash weather. Just click on the weather bug icon for more information there. And again, temperature is doing pretty good right now back in the lower to mid-60s, so decently pleasant for the time being. Running the numbers into the rest of the day, temperature is pleasant, but once again, it's going to be just a bit cooler than normal as we head into the rest of the day, thanks to those northerly breezes out there. 60s and maybe close to 70 degrees as that front heads on through the area through about early afternoon. We could be, with these temperatures and all the sunshine, into the upper 70s to lower 80s, not going to be happening this time around because of those breezes coming in, cooling us off a little bit. Not an Arctic blast, but it will be noticeably cooler today and especially into tomorrow. So very pleasant, very dry, heading past News Channel 3 at 10 back in the 50s. And then as we get into and around the area of tomorrow, a little bit cool for daybreak back in the lower to mid 40s. And then by the afternoon, temperatures will not be as cool, as warm as today. Cooler, in fact, with numbers back in the lower to mid-60s, a few upper 60s possible. But those northerly breezes are going to keep the temperatures down for just a little bit out there. All right, running the numbers for the 7 to 10-day forecast. Mid-70s today, dry is going to be the watchword. This would be a great day to get those windshield wipers repaired and uh, those blades changed out just to be on the safe side to make certain that everything is working properly before the rain starts again as we go into the next couple of days. But at least we dry out for just a little bit anyway. Mid to upper 60s for the metro areas north of I-40 tomorrow could see some lower 60s, but once again, decently dry. And getting back to work or school on Monday, starting to wrap up the year. Field trips going on, celebrating the end of school. Very mild temperatures back into the mid-70s, so looking pretty good uh, in those locations for right now. Sunny in Dyer, Tennessee, J Judy Judy Baker, sorry about that. Kind of hard to see with these bifocals and two-point typeface. Welcome to everybody else who's uh, checking on through for the time being. Back into the 80s by Tuesday. Now, chances of showers and thunderstorms start to show up as we go toward mid to late week. Wednesday and Thursday, we've got some slight chances of some showers and thunderstorms here. Not much. Could be a problem for outdoor activities, so please keep that in mind if you have any outdoor stuff going on. Friday, back to the west of us. That's where we see, again, the potential for stronger weather getting closer to us. Doesn't show signs of being severe right now, but again, this is something we're definitely going to want to watch. So by Friday afternoon, we could be looking at some stronger weather coming on through here. This forecast and the severe weather threat will change day by day over the next several days, so it's not going to be the same today as it will be getting closer to the end of the week. So please stay tuned for more information. Whether it's here at News Channel 3, the National Weather Service, the Storm Prediction Center, we will keep you updated with all that information right here. So if we're seeing anything dangerous coming our way, we will definitely let you know about that. So stick around for more on that. Cinco de Mayo, next Saturday. Beautiful conditions if everything holds in the Mid-South. Should be looking at temperatures going back into around lower 80s. Plenty of sunshine, so great opportunity to get out and have some fun out that direction. Again, please remember, let's... Keep it safe out there. If you've had too much to drink, give the keys to somebody else. Catch a cab ride home. Whatever you can do to make people safe. Again, just an opportunity for that. Sometimes people engage in too much partying, so let's all be careful out there if we could do so well on that. Mid to upper 80s possible as we go toward next Sunday. And then by Monday after Cinco de Mayo, we could see the potential for some more scattered showers, but we're just not looking at a lot of major problems out there, so definitely good news on that. Uh, Ammons Lee, a nice view from Lakeland, Tennessee, earlier this week of some cloud cover out across portions of the area of northeastern Shelby County, so thank you very much for that. TN Weather, beautiful view from Carroll County 
in Tennessee of a nice sunset from earlier this week. And thank you very much uh, for that one. And James R. Gulledge, frequent contributor from around Humble, Tennessee. Some of the foliage being lit up by some very nice sunlight out in that general area. Thank you very much for that. D. Nunley, 54, reminding everybody earlier this week with the heavy rainfall coming down to slow it down and to be very careful out there, which is always a good idea. Never want to go rushing around with all the rainfall potential out there for that area. Fred Flynn from Fayette County, thank you very much for a beautiful sunrise emailed to us earlier this week, posted this on Facebook a little while ago, and from one of my best friends back in Topeka, from Topeka West High School, now in Tecumseh, Kansas, just on the east side of Topeka, Heather Cox, sending in a very nice view of a halo from underneath the eaves of her house in and around Tecumseh. Thank you very much, Heather, for that one. And thanks to everybody for sending in all those pictures out there. If you've got pictures, I want to see them, I want to share them, but I can't do that unless you send stuff in like a lot of folks did from earlier this week. Aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter, Austinonic WREG on Facebook, and Aonic no underscore necessary WREG3 on Instagram. If you've got stuff to send in, we'd love to know more about it, so go ahead and make uh, your pictures available to us, and we'll feature them on our netcast and then also on Daybreak and our other newscasts when we have time available to do so uh, at this point in time. Charles Edward Stanton, Milwaukee, and thanks a lot for stopping on by. Brighton, Christy Hal Johnson, welcome to the show at this point. Uh, Deborah Brock, good morning to you as well. Brian Fox, what about Music Fest? Mm, looking a little bit interesting as we go toward uh, the end of this next week, but once again, we'll keep our eyes on that, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 uh, for more on that. Beautiful day in Wynn, Arkansas. Rita Allen, thank you very much. Daryl File, Fleet, we can't. Hang on a second, let me see here. Daryl Flea, I hope I'm saying that right. At least close to that with a name like Onik. You think I would know better. Uh, from Arkansas, thank you very much. And again, thanks to everybody else for checking in so far. If you can't watch on the computer or dial us up on your smartphone and you're around the Mid-South, listen on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. We'll keep you updated as you go along throughout your weekend. We'll have another update coming on. I'm going to have to cut this a little short today because I'm heading out to Mullins Station Baptist Church here in just a little bit for their Senior Safety Expo. So we'll be going there for the next couple of hours. So if you'd like to stop by and chat for a little bit, it'll be available until roughly about lunchtime. And then afterwards, uh, heading back home again before I return to my evening duties here. But we'll have another forecast update for you at 5, 6, and 10 on air. And we'll have more details coming up on News Channel 3 on our Facebook page at 8.03 tonight and on my Facebook page at about roughly 8.30, depending on when we get the updates recorded. And we'll go from there. So if you'd like to know more, please tune in. If you have anything that you'd like to suggest on here that you would like to see, we'd love to know about it. The psychic power is a little bit below par, so it'd be helpful if you email it to that address right there, austin.onic at wreg.com. More satellites, more climate data, more whatever. If it's something you're looking for, let us know about that, and we'd be glad to see what we can do to feature things on there. And again, catch me on social media throughout the course of the rest of the weekend, and you get more details there. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for much more throughout the rest of the weekend with News Channel 3 on air and online.